I'd like to add a little more to an earlier post where one of our users was wanting to how do we illustrate paving, brick paving along a curving um, caught in steel edging. And uh, we had a number of suggestions, but the simplest was perhaps to just write a piece of text, I'll bring that to the front, uh, indicating that along this zone, um, you're going to set up something like this. There'll be a flexible line representing the Corten, so, um, Corten edging and then uh, individual blocks. And we're just placing them by eye. We weren't able to, we didn't have a tool in GCAD Plus that would array those bricks along a whole collection of curving uh, arcs of different radius and so on. We ended up using the spline command here and the spline command gives you this sort of follows something like that that shape there. So we'll start around here and then move up at a almost vertical and then we change direction about here and can you see that the spline command gives you very nice control. I can bend and get a nice shape or garden bed edging. When you're finished, you enter and you're then asked to come back. It's a bit disconcerting for beginners. You're then asked to come back to where you, where you started and just twist until you get the right start approach. And the command then jumps to the other end where we've got to set a whatever their end angle is, and it's just done dynamically. So there we have a polyline, but it's a polyline with a difference because you can tweak an angle. And you're adjusting the end of it and twisting things around. And of course, you can set the color and the thickness. Let's make it and we'll set some sort of Cool 10 color. So there's our flexible core 10 edging. And so what we've done then is just make a block called brick. This is a 230 by 110 brick and just place them by eye over a little sample area of the background. So it's a, it's a and on the layout sheet, you would just call that view to show how you want um, the paving bricks aligned on the inside of the core 10 edging. So I think even though GCAD Plus hasn't got the right command to waft along that flexible line and keep things aligned, changing the angle as it goes, at least this is a little work around.